Hello there. We need to give you guys a little update on some cabinets. So, so Dee Dee has been painting and painting and painting and she's got all of the cabinet doors, drawers, etc. done in the kitchen area. If we rewind a little bit, uh, this kitchen area was horrendously wallpapered and very ugly from the 1970s, 80s. So. Overall, the kitchen is looking much, much better. Uh, we're mostly done in here with uh, just quick, simple overhaul that we wanted to do. In fact, I'm gonna use the kitchen to make something real quick. Uh, it's that time of year where um, you can get corned beef pretty inexpensively. So we're gonna do a little uh, corned beef crock pot oven combo dish here. All right, it's not a secret. I'm not the cook in the family, um, but I made this a couple weeks ago. I really enjoy corned beef. Dee Dee said she liked it, so she uh, bought me another one to do the exact same way, and I was gonna change something today, and she's like, no, do it exactly the way you did it the other day, so. Uh, <laughs> not much that I'm doing. I'm literally just put the corned beef in the crock pot, uh, cut up some potatoes, uh, put in there with it, diced up an onion, put it in there. Then I put the seasoning packet that came with the corned beef in there and then two pinches of pepper and three pinches of salt. And we're gonna put it on for uh, an hour and a half uh, in the pressure cooker. This is the instant pot thing that everybody I think has anymore. But, um, and, and two weeks ago might be the first time I've ever used it. <laughs> Thing on the ceiling. Yeah, it's, it's on the ceiling. Okay, actually, I'm not sure. I'm just walking you through some of the common mistakes that I make. <laughs> oh, uh, it's plus snow. Uh, pressure level. Pressure cook. There we go. Hey, it's still on an hour and a half from time before. And I think you just leave it and it starts. I think you just leave it in and start so Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, we got it. <laughs> like I say, I'm not the, normally the cook in the family, so we got it to the, the pressure thing on the back here. We got it turned on. It'll warm up and start pressure cooking this thing. So done plenty of stuff with crock pots and stuff before, but since we've gotten this, Dee's always the one that, uh, that cooks with it. So I'm learning. Oh, and I forgot to mention last time I um used fresh garlic but uh we didn't have any fresh garlic left i added one garlic clove's worth of this i don't know added some garlic sorry i don't do cooking videos um i also put it fat side up so that as it cooks the fat should kind of go down through the corned beef as well so hopefully that'll help i hear it gurgling so i think we are on pace so I'm actually gonna head outside and do some work, let this thing cook dinner for us, and we'll uh, come back in in a couple hours. Oh yeah, and I forgot, uh, add a couple cups of water uh, to the bottom of that too.
All right, I've got this little guy filled up. We're gonna run it for a little while, see if we have any leaks or anything like that. But overall, I am very happy with that. It looks very cool. A big thanks to our mother-in-law for repurposing that little pump and doing something fun with it. All right, we have a little bit of a salvage operation going on today. Just operation, a tiny one. operation, rescue some some boards and reuse them for something else later. Yeah, there's um a bunch of decent two by fours on the burn pile, and I don't um, mostly just like pulling out whatever I can pick out really quick and just has like a screw or two in it. So yeah, we'll pull out nails or screws or whatever we can salvage most of this stuff and. Yeah. The rest of it will get burned. I made a couple things out of this burn pile. I made our wood box that we have inside that holds our firewood in, inside. Mm -hmm. And then I made my A-frame uh, wood, wood storage, storage rack out of it as well. Yeah. Aren't you glad I salvaged those for you? No. Look at that. <laughs> I salvaged the wood and then he steals it for his projects. <laughs> How's that work? <laughs> oh, there must be Well, today is a big cleanup day. We're out here obviously doing a burn pile. I'm gonna cut off a bunch of these limbs here and start burning those in a little bit. And Dee Dee is tearing apart some of the fencing and the weird little things that are all over the property here. Some flower beds and stuff that have just kind of rotted into the ground, but they're still, you can still see them. Now just tearing into some of the, some of the wire mesh that's overgrown with brush and all kinds of stuff. and. We'll see what we can get cleaned up today while we're sitting outside watching this fire anyways.
smoke in my eyes. I can hear the wind chime in. It's always been you in the back of my mind. When there are others, turn this fence off, and I was like, Oh, I got it, but it got me. We got a bleeder apparently. Not sure what's going on, but it keeps dripping down my arm, so let's just scratch something good. Well, that one got me good, dripping down my arm here. I hose it off and see if I can find the source. That's why it's bleeding, it's just a long scratch. So. As long as I didn't sink one of those pieces I was cutting off into a vein or something, but we should be good, it should stop some point. I dance all along there. I try to be seen. Then there's a feeling. You know what I mean. I let it all go. Out the way. That's kind of cool. Dee Dee uh, found an old choker cable. Still in good shape. Just a little bit of rust on it uh, up in the weeds there. I'll add it to my collection. All right, starting to get dark and I'm not sure how well you can see, but all of those cross fences are all gone. No more cross T posts. Look out and just see lawn, I guess you'd say. So I was feeling much more ambitious. I thought we'd get to all the brush over there but <laughs> it's after seven and we're both wiped from wrestling with uh, all that fencing that was wadded up in the grass and the brush and yeah. you name it so that was a lot of work um we got a, a bunch on the burn pile we're burning through we got a whole bunch in the back of the trailer a couple more stacks floating around but we're burning some of the grass and stuff out of the out of the after, wiring after out of the wire fencing there was yeah. so much grass and almost like bushes grown up in it that we're, uh, yeah, we're burning the debris out of it and then we're pulling it off of the burn pile so that we can finish recycling, yeah. but we won't be able to recycle it with all of the, all the grass and stuff yeah. in it. So. The good news is it's about a third as heavy once you burn all the other stuff out of it. So. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys have a great one and we'll catch you on whatever we're doing next. Bye. Peace of mind, let it all go out the way.